pronounce your last name so I say it right? Kahaya Lee. Kahaya Lee. 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 Okay. Uh, born and raised in Maui. Yes. Born and raised. And talk about your football first. Your football career. Always played. Always a big kid. Um, always a big kid. Not always played. Um, I was too big for Pop Warner and Little League, and so I ended up playing in high school. My first year playing was my sophomore year, um, and from there I just loved it. Loved the game and loved playing it and being able to go out on the field and play with people that that you know you practice with and you train with. It's fun. Yeah, I bet. Did you, were you always on the offensive line? Um, yeah, always offensive line. I think I took two or three snaps on defense when I was in high school, but not really. Well, the offense. Yeah. And then you got a scholarship right out of high school? I did. Um, got a scholarship here, and I got a couple offers somewhere else, but um, here is where I wanted to come. So. Why did you want to come here? What was, it, what was the best part about BYU for you? Um, being around people that have the same religion as I do um, and being able to know that I could go serve a mission and come back and still have that scholarship waiting for me to play. So it's been good. How was your mission? Oh, it was everything is it was, it was awesome. I loved it. Um, it's ups, it's downs, it's everything is it awesome. Just loved it. It's got it all, doesn't it? Yeah. Now talk about music, musically. When do you first remember hearing music? Is it a little boy or what, what do you, what's your first memory of music in your home? Oh, um, yeah, when I was a little kid, I just remember always going to parties and functions for the family and They'd always be singing or playing music, and whether we'd be listening to it on the radio or whatever, we always had some kind of music going. Um, what my was mom, a family favorite? Uh, family favorite? Probably just Hawaiian music. Um, they really like to stick to the traditional stuff. So. You, wait, you say, I'm sorry I interrupted you. Your mom what? Oh, my mom, uh, she'd clean the house and always have music blasting, temptations and things like that, so it was good. Good love stuff. the temptations. Love it. <laughs> so when would, when do you remember first picking up a ukulele? I had a war talent show when I was around probably eight or nine, and uh, I wanted to be in the talent show, and I didn't know what what I could do. So my grandpa said, "Well, try playing the ukulele." So he showed me a couple chords and taught me a song, and I sang that song for my talent show. Can you play a few bars of that? Do you remember it? I don't remember that song, but I mean, I could. Play something else if you want to do. Yeah, we'll get you. We'll get you in there in just a minute. Yeah. So, what does music do for you? For a lot of people, you know, it can be a power for good and it can be a you know power for not so good. So, what does music do for you? Um, music for me kind of calms me down, uh, keeps me kind of mellow and balanced. I guess you could say. I'm always listening to music, so I mean, I love music. It just feels good. Feels good listening to it and playing it, and yeah. Are you always playing something, whether it's a ukulele, or the guitar, or the piano? Um, yeah, pretty itchy fingers, so I usually go home and I'll play the guitar for a little bit or the ook, whatever's closest. And, um, where I live in my apartment complex, they have a clubhouse, and I usually go play the piano sometime in there. So. How fun. And I would assume yeah. that's kind of a stress reliever? Yeah, would big time, yeah. especially around finals. <laughs> I bet. What do you usually do to play to, uh, play to relieve some of your stress? Um, to be honest, I play slow songs, R&B. Um, just things that are calming, church music, things like that. You are um, uh, often doing the firesides and singing. What does that mean to you to be able to, especially if there's nine members in the audience, what does it uh, mean to you to be able to maybe, you know, help fill the spirit in the room by, by singing? Um, I think it's a big key. I mean, um, I don't like to speak too much to people. I don't like being in, big, in front of big crowds and speaking, but singing is fine for me for some reason. So anytime they ask, I'll, I'll readily just sing, and it's a great way to spread the message of the gospel, just like being on a mission. That's funny because you don't like to be, I mean, you could go play football in front of thousands, yeah. tens of thousands, just as long as you don't have to speak. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you like to be seen but not heard. Exactly. Well, what you're singing and, and playing is, is really, really special. What's, can you play one of your favorite just fun songs for us and uh, maybe yeah. what kind of gets you in a good mood? What's it, just tell us what it's called and then go ahead. Um... First of all, I'm looking at those very large hands. How do you play that? I have no clue, to be <laughs> honest. Um, I cheat a lot because some chords that require two or three fingers, uh, I usually use one finger. I use just two, and people laugh. They're like, how do you do that? Can you bar the chord? And I really don't know. Um, a fun song. I'm not 100% sure what it's called. I think it's an Elvis Presley song, but I'll play it for you guys.
That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Is that my phone? I'm sorry about that. Go. I forgot. My mom's in the hospital, and so I didn't dare turn it off. Oh, no. Uh, no, it's not. It's just, it's just knee surgery. Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I think it might be my purse. John, do you just want to hand it to me, please? Okay, now can you do one with singing? Oh, yeah. Okay, what sorry. Would you, no, 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 that was beautiful. <laughs> what would you do now to, to sing? What would be one of your favorites to sing? Um, probably you just do the same song and sing it. Okay, want to do that? Yeah, That'd sure. be great. Okay. <clears throat> you ready, John? Okay. Wise men say only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love. is fun. Yeah, do you, are you fun. do you learn words? Are you one that can hear a song and you can go play it and know the lyrics? Are you pretty quick um, with that? I kind of have to listen to it a little bit, but yeah, I mean, it usually I'm able to pick it up fairly quick. Share one of your favorite maybe Hawaiian songs that uh, that maybe your uncle or you do at family events back in Hawaii. Um, this one's called Pool Lena. My mom uh, dances to it actually. So I'll, at party functions, I always get up and sing it and make her dance to it. So. Um, you remember how to play it. Pua olena, pua moe vale, i kana hele e noi nei, ka ua noe makali i e ala Your uncle, what's his name again? Willie K. Willie K. Yeah. And what is he? Gen is it uh, is it Hawaiian music? Um, generally Hawaiian music, but he's he's been known to play everything: um, blues, rock, um, jazz, just everything. He's kind of a kind of a music connoisseur. It's crazy. What are your goals with music? What would you like to do with it down the road? For me, it's just a hobby, um, just a way to have fun. I would like to continue somehow um, using it to to share the gospel and to continue to sing church music for sure. Um, but other than that, just, just a hobby of mine. Do you think that that's been a gift given to you that you need to share and that you should share? Um, I think at first I didn't, uh, before my mission especially. Uh, I shied away a lot and I, it was kind of those, yeah, if you need me, you need me, I'll sing at the fireside. But now it's like, if I have an opportunity to sing, I love to do it because I know that the message that we share is really important and it's good. It's good to spread that message as, as best we can, whatever way we can. So, What would a song be that would share that message? Um, I think this coming fireside, I'm singing a song called I Heard Him Come, just speaking about the Savior and His Atonement. Um, I've sang songs like Oh Lord, My Redeemer, um, just different songs, different church songs. And I try to adapt to like whatever fireside I'm singing at. I sang at a missionary fireside, and, and I was able to sing a missionary song, so it was good. Can you sing... Uh I heard him come, a little bit of that. Um, I can try. I haven't played it on the ukulele before, so. Let me see. Or is there another one on a church song you feel more comfortable with playing? Maybe, let me try Our Lord My Redeemer. Okay. In the Roman soldier's lap As they saw the prisoner stumble he did not revile them back And wondering I asked Who was this man so humble And the woman by my side Choked on her reply 
Though she struggled not to weep Tears poured down her cheek Heartbreaking as she cried Oh Lord, my Redeemer Thou hast done so much for me My Redeemer, all my love I give to Thee. That's awesome. Thanks. What does it mean to you to be able to do something and then look over the audience and, you know, feel like you've made a difference? Um, reminds me of my mission, being able to go out and, and teach people and whether it be through song or actually sitting down with them and teaching them about the gospel. I think it's all the same. I think we're, we're doing the same thing. It, it just brings back to those feelings that I had on my mission. It feels good. Would it, is that more important to you to share a message like that than to be known for maybe playing a football game? Oh, big time. Um, I don't think it was at one point in my life, but for sure now, I mean, I think firesides are more important and Coach Mendenhall really emphasizes that. And, I agree. I mean, I agree that our message is much more important than, than the actual game itself. Well, quickly just talk about football and getting out there. Last game, Hawaii, your thoughts about going home and playing there? Oh, feels good. Feels good to go home and play. Um, family and friends will be there. And I got some, some of my friends that are on the, the other team. For They play for UH, and it'll be good to play against them, friendly rivalry, and it's fun. It's going to be good. Will you be singing at the fireside there? I will. I'll be singing that night, so it'll be good. What will that mean to you, be able to to sing back there in front of so many people that you know? Oh, it's exciting. Um, I don't think any of them have heard me play the piano. It's something I picked up on the mission, so a lot of them are excited to hear that, and it'll be fun. I mean, I think they've always heard me play at parties and, and fun songs like you were saying earlier, but nothing like this. Uh, this is something special and something that really is moving and can, can help people feel the spirit, so it's good. Last thing, can you play, is it Meli Kaliki Maka? I actually don't know how to play that one, but really, I do like that song. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that would be a given on that one for Christmas. What oh. about a Christmas song? Any like real uh, quick Christmas song? Not sure. I can try and figure out Millie Click. Okay. Maka is a thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. That's the island's greetings that we send to you from the land where palm trees sway. Here we know that Christmas will be green and bright, the sun to shine my day and all the stars at night. Melikalikimaka is Hawaii's way to say a Merry Christmas to you. It's pretty darn on the good. spot. <laughs> on the spot. That's great. That's perfect. Thanks, Walter. That was a lot of fun. No problem. Hey, Brett, when's your next class? How long before your next class? Uh, one o'clock.